All right, boys and girls, Texas 2A video. Again, like and subscribe. Check that out. That is the Galil Ace 5.56 rifle. Mine's a little bit special because I own it. Uh, I did get a titanium stock made. That's from a guy that probably won't be making them anymore. I also have one on my X39. I do have the RS Regulate handguard on it. It does have you know, a little guard stop there, and I do have a light on here. Uh, this is a Protec HLX with the Odin Works mount. Uh, I did want this for home defense. It does have the Trajicon uh, MRO that is a damn good little red dot. So if you don't have one, I suggest it highly. Uh, this does come with a uh, folding stock that is adjustable. But who wants that when you can have one of these that looks like the original? I mean, look at it. You know, you guys know I can't leave shit alone. So I have shot this. I uh, didn't shoot it factory, I don't think. I don't remember shooting this thing with anything left on it. It's still factory, except for maybe the handguard. Or was it? I don't remember. Anyway, played around with it a little bit. Like it, added the light, and it does have a uh, Gamma VG6 uh, brake on here that's really for 9mm, but it looks good, so I threw it on there anyway. So, yep, let's uh, take some shots with it. Let y'all see what I think. This right here is very special to me because I love it. mark right there it does it easy step out to 150 that is sweat if you can see it dropping off the bill of my hat there it goes took four shots been a little bit delirious out here I'm definitely shaking holding this thing up uh, it's been a long day and Texas heat is not doing me any favors lately um, about the Ace, uh, they did have the original Galil, which I have one now. You saw me do an initial review. There's a surprise coming up with that. But this is the Ace model, all right? It is the SAR, and this is your modernized version of a AK. Uh, it is very much AK under the hood. Uh, it does retain a right side safety for you guys that are used to this flippy floppy stuff over here. And it does a very good job at retaining that, that muscle memory if that's what you're used to. But for you, if you're used to an AR, it's got this over here, so it's keeping some ergonomics. Left side charging handle instead of this wonky right side stuff. It is rounded off to make sure it's not catching on gear. If you're running around with this thing in the jungles of Nam, you don't want this thing catching on your, your flak vest. There you go, that's what it's designed for. Uh, it is sealed, you know, if you guys have watched other videos, you're just trying to see more. You know, if not, you see it does have this cover that falls in and out as charging handle reciprocates. All right, so that's another advantage to that. They've taken a very reliable system and sealed it up. Uh, this entire rail does come off once you take this cover off. The cover does lock into the back of the rail and it does hold. You can watch slow motion video of some of these other guys and see it flex a little bit as it fires. Not been an issue for me. My 308 has gone sub MOA. I have not done accuracy testing on this yet, but I will. I do have to get some more targets down range. But until that happens, you know, let's go and talk about it and shoot it and make sure you guys like what you see. Uh, you know, like I said, I don't leave stuff alone. This one is a cheater, very much so a cheater, and you'll see why. Let's do some uh, speed testing on this here. We can call it a shooting supply for the 5.56 from the 8. All right, give it a little break in sound. That is 2,842 feet per second. Two thousand eight hundred and thirty-seven feet per second. I think the second shot was a repeat. Two thousand eight hundred and sixty-two feet per second. So this thing's picking up one hundred and sixty feet over that eleven and a half inch barrel that I was shooting from Psyonix. Pretty good, because uh, this is a sixteen inch barrel. You know what that means? It's an AK variant, but what? What? What is that? Is that? Is that locked open? Oh my lanta! This thing is full ambi. Mag release on both sides. All right, but it locked open and it releases right here with this little guy. Same thing. Pull it back, push it up, locks back. So this is an AK 5.56 modernized with last round bolt hold open. I will put this up against anything on the planet as far as 
a battle rifle is concerned. That's how good this is to me. Some people will disagree because they're allowed to their, you know, they're entitled to their opinions, but this is reliable. Last round bolt hold open. Uh, there's nothing else I can say good about this thing. The, the drawbacks to it is that it's a milled receiver. So yeah, she's a little chunkier, but uh, I'm a big boy. I'm 6'3", 260 pounds. I ain't gonna cry about a little bit of extra weight. So lock that back down. yard mark again sorry that was a hundred yard mark again i'm trying to remember to, to delay in my speaking because the blast from this thing cuts out sound for a minute i'm trying trying to improve for you guys 150 yards i am going to set up 200 at some point there we go got it jesus sweat my eyes i want to take my glasses off but i'm shooting and i can't so you know dealing with it i can't see shit damn humidity so yeah texas has been a very good uh cool winter this year but uh the heat is back it has let us know that it's not going anywhere so whatever but yeah like i said i got sweat just pouring all over me uh another downside to the galil if i can find one of them for you because i have a device called a a uh a tarp catching some of my spent cases and with the ace as much as i love an ace you usually get such a rude amount okay there they are over there let me grab these real quick uh nope that's not them either is that one uh usually chunks brass pretty freaking far and it usually beats it up pretty freaking bad uh hmm i got so much brass from shooting uh another weapon out here i'm not seeing it but usually this thing will come back and it'll dent the dog shit out of your brass. The 308 is horrible about it. The 762 by uh, 51 and the 762 by 39, they're both bad about it. This one should be. I've got too much brass everywhere to see, so can't show you. But it'll dent it and it'll even flatten the nose, uh, flatten the case, the mouth, uh, the mouth of the case up as well. So something to be considerate of if you like reloading. They're pretty racist against brass. Uh, even steel case gets banged up hard by it. Lock back open again. It's a uh, metal mag from Palmetto State Armory. I think it's a DNH. Uh, it's got the PSA logo on the bottom. And let's see. See that? Got some steel case from Monarch. I'm going to throw that in there. Yep. Uh, a lot of guys, if you're wondering, like, I don't like a reciprocating charging handle. Uh, that is a mil spec feature that a lot of uh, military requires now. Helps you be able to clear a malfunction because you're locked in there. So if you want to know why some people like it, there's your reason right there. I like it because of that for one. It's working pretty well. Locked open. She likes steel case. What can I say? And then uh, I will say she's also hot enough to where I am not trying to hold this some bitch anymore. See if that thing's still working. Yep, sure is. So so far so good. Let's dump one more mag, shall we? Let's go for that target at that 35, 40 yard mark. I'm gonna dump the shit out. And see how quick I can hit that thing. Not too bad. Uh, I did not have any trouble at all keeping that thing on target, if you can tell from this distance. Uh, that is a 12 inch by 20, so not full size torso, but it's definitely uh, close enough to where it shouldn't be too hard, right? But that was pretty quick. That was a P mag. She worked just fine. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I will do some accuracy testing on this to come. I only have green tips right now, plus some of my hand loads. And for the schnitz and grins, let's go ahead and Take some of my 62 grain hand loads. 
just like I did for that psionics. I just started, and if you didn't watch that psionics upper that was going over that PSA trigger, I just started hand loading for 5.56. I've done it for 50 caliber Beowulf, 500 Smith Wesson, 50 caliber Action Express, 357, 38 Special, 10 millimeter, 9 millimeter, 44 Magnum, 30-30, and now I'm doing 308 and uh, 5.56. So, these are loaded to 223 load data. I uh, did not go hot with it. And it's mass bulk produced. I didn't weigh the charges. Let's see what kind of feet per second she's got. It was down a little over 100 on the 11 and a half inch. So, let that clear up. 2,743. 2,659. 2,643. So I'm losing, uh, you know, losing a couple feet per second compared to earlier. Uh, like I said, that's your 223 load data versus a cream tip. That's not designed for accuracy. Green tips are designed for penetration. So, you know, there's a difference going to be in there to be felt. And open 100 yards she's still accurate as shit tagging that little 12 inch plate out there so you know it is what it is but accuracy testing to come uh stay tuned hopefully you like what you've seen this opens your eyes up to a world of a badass rifle that i think more people should be aware of and own because these are freaking awesome uh accessories adds up you can get midwest industries handguard or something like this this is rs regulate rs regulate scott hoskins you are a badass and we love what you do sir so you know, if uh, you guys are out there watching this want to know who makes it, that's who. That's the man. That's his name. He's on Facebook. Uh, you know, he's in the IWI Galil Ace Owners Group on Facebook as well. So, yeah, uh, this does come with a QD right here if you're curious. Uh, the factory one, it didn't have shit up there, I don't think. Uh, so, you got your rear QD point uh, for, not a QD, I'm sorry, sling point. That's there, so you can drop that guy down with a single point. Uh, with this right here, I do now have an M-Lock option. And these do come in in shorter and longer configurations for this. So if you're interested in those guys, go check them out. They get them in stock. They run the hell out of them. Uh, he does sell them directly to uh, IWI as well for them to sell. So, you know, you can't get them more than one place if they don't have them. But, yeah, definitely good stuff. Love those guys. Love what they do. And, uh, so yeah, I said hopefully you guys enjoyed what you saw. And after testing will come with a ride, go dig my ass up some more ammo here and there. That's various shape, forms, fashions, weights, grains, and all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see what kind of accuracy this thing does for me. I can tell you some people have gone sub MOA with it, but what can I do with it? Thanks again to Caldwell Shooting Supply and uh, everybody else that's always looking out for me. Help me get this stuff done, and I will catch you guys next time.